Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the first lab program of uh, 18 CSL 66. Uh, so, in the first lab program we have to uh, draw a line. So, the final output will be a line on the screen. So, if I just run this program and show you how it uh, looks like the final output. So, when we run here, then the uh, program will ask us to enter two points because in between the two points we are going to see the output, right? So, if I enter like 100, 100 and uh, 200 and 200, at that time the output will be as follows. It is the output again. So uh, keeping this here, I'll be telling you what all is happening in the program. So uh, before that, uh, if you want to like uh, download how it is like, what are the files needed? You know, I'll put a video link in the description box. You can see that and uh, um, so go through it and uh, set up the uh, things in the system. Okay. So this is the whole program, and in the program we have uh, how many things? This is the header file. This is the first part, and in the second part, if I just minimize these things, you can see this many functions are there. Okay, so these are the all, all the number of functions and this is the whole program. Okay, this one is the program. So in the program, first we will declare some global variables. Instead of int, we will be using gln. Okay, and x1, y1, x2, y2. What are x1, y1, and x2, y2? These are x1, x2, x1, and uh, y1, x2, and y2. Okay, so these are the points which we are taking. Like the starting points are x1 and y1, and uh, ending points are x2 and y2, the x and y coordinates of the points. Okay. Now, uh, these are the functions which we have written here, user defined functions which we will be using. So, how many are there? Five functions are there here. This is the initialization function in it, and this is the display function. Before that, we have the set pixel, so it just sets the pixel, whatever point you specify at that time, uh, at that particular position, for example, this is uh, 1, comma, uh, for example, this is 1, comma 0. If I write here, uh, set pixel 1, comma 0, at that time, what will happen? This pixel will be set, okay, means it will become blue. So uh, that's what the set pixel does, and these two are the uh, line breadth. So if you want to know the theory and the derivation of these formulas, you can watch the theory video which I have made. In that, I have explained how these formulas work and what are the PK values and all. I have explained in detail. You can watch that. Okay. But in this video, I am just going briefly to the uh, topic. Okay. So uh, these are the two things. L1 is less than and G is greater than. So when do you call a slope is uh, uh, less than one or greater than one? See, if this is the point here. Okay. So let's take a point here. So if this is the graph here, this is a slope which is less than one, and this is a slope which is greater than one, and this is a slope which is equal to mm -hmm. one, right? So if x is increasing faster than y, it is less than one. If y is increasing faster than x, it is uh, greater than one. Okay. If both are increasing at the same speed, that is um, equal to one. Okay. So let's see uh, what is there in the program. So the program starts from here. Here first we have void display, so let's see what is in the void display, but before that uh, the correct thing is to first start from the int main, okay. In int main when we start here, these are the things which you need to write, arc c and uh, character arc v, and first we will print f enter two points for the uh, line, so we will uh, take the two points x1 and y1, and take the second point, and uh, the, those are x2, y2, so these are the two points which the program asks us uh, first. After that uh, we will be initializing, okay, glue in, uh, glut init means what, it is initializing the window. Let in a display mode, we are setting the display mode single and RGB colors so to, to uh, see the whole all the colors and uh, in it window position 300 and 400. So, this is the window position as you can see, this is uh, 400 and this is 300. Okay, so this is the window position, window size is 00. Okay, so what is there inside the window that is the uh, uh, initial point uh, 00 and create window line uh, breadth and hand. So, this uh, topic will be written here and in it, I am calling init function and display function. What does init function do is in init function we will have uh, let's see what is the init function because it's first called first the color will be set as 111 what is 111 in RGB red is 1 green is 1 blue is 1 then it will be a white color so the background is set as white color 3f 3f means the line color line color is set as 000 it is nothing but black color okay point size is 3 so what is the thickness of this line that is set as 3 and matrix mode is on because we are doing a 2D matrix and the size is like minus 500 to 500, this is minus 500 to 500 and here also minus 500 to 500, this is minus 500 to 500 and uh, here the initialization part is done. After the initialization part, I am calling the display function. So let's see what does the display function do. Then the lines uh, in the program control will go here to the display function. Here also we are doing something like clear GL color proof of it and uh, GL float M, M is uh, variable created. And color 100. What is 100? RGB means R is 1. If R is 1, what does that mean? If R is 1, what does that mean? If R is 1 means the uh, line color is red, uh, red isn't it? So uh, the first line which I am setting is the vertical line. 
the vertical line color is red okay here in the output this is the line which i am setting so its color is red here and gl begin gl line this you have to write to make a line and where you have to make from 0 to minus 500 0 to 500 this is uh, 0 comma minus 500 this is 0 comma 500 in between that this line is made after that is then you will uh, then write gl end gl end is written in between gl begin end of this one okay means these two things are written which point you are making the line from then after that the next line 0 1 0 from here you are making this line okay and it is green rgb g is one means it is green line where it is starting from minus 500 to 0 this is the point minus 500 and 0 to 500 and 0 this is the point to 500 and 0 so by using these two things what we are creating is x axis and y axis okay and color is set as 0 0 1 which is rgb b is 1 so whatever the output will be asking is it is blue color okay so that uh, that much part is done in the display function as well as uh, here we will be calculating the uh, slope what is the value of slope y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 right so this is those same values which i have entered here to find out the slope of this you will subtract y2 minus y1 minus x2 minus x1 that's what happened here uh, we will be finding out the slope if it's greater than or equal to 1 then we will be calling the function line breadth greater than or equal to 1 ge1 else you will call the function less than 1 okay and we are passing x1 y1 the first two coordinates and second two coordinates as well as the slope with it okay so based on what value we got of slope we will be going to that function so let's see if we get a slope which is less than 1 what will happen we will come to this function here here the arguments which are passed are x1 y1 and x2 y2 x1 y1 are taken as the x0 y0 which is the first point and the ending points are these two so x2 y2 will come here and the slope value will also come here now uh, according to the formula if i show you the formula part here these are the formulas which we will be using if slope is less than 1 if slope is greater than 1 just change wherever you find dy uh, put it as dx wherever you find dx put it as dy the three important formulas are this one this one and this one so first thing we need to find p0 to find out p0 we need what is dy what is dx and to find out pk plus one we need what is 2 dy what is 2 dy minus 2 dx these things we need right so firstly we will be making the variables which will have these values like 2y 2 dx and all okay so these are the things like dx is equal to x end what is x end x2 x2 minus x0 means the ending point of x which is this one and the starting point of x this is uh, known as dx right it subtract this from this that's what is there and same thing we will do for dy as well and p is nothing but 2 into dy minus dx that's what we need and 2 dy is 2 dy 2 dy minus dx that's what's written here so these variables we will be using in the formula now we will be starting from x is equal to x0 and y0 if uh, it is greater so you need not worry about this this is the second part initially it will be less than x and obviously so we will be just going on to the y part and set pixel x and y this is the first point which is plotted after the first point is pointed, we have to point till the last x end, means x till x end. This in the case when x is, when the slope is less than uh, 0, uh, sorry, less than 1. In that case, x is increasing faster than y. Right? If you watch my theory, you will understand what I am trying to say. x is increasing faster than y. So in each iteration, x will increase. And the question is just that y will increase or not. How will we know y will increase or not? So for that, we will need to find out the pk values. If pk is less than 0, y will stay same. If pk is greater than 0, y will increment 1. And the pk value will be changed as follows. So that's what I have done here. If you observe carefully, that's what I have done here. It will be 2 dy if it's less than 0. If p, uh, pk is less than 0, it will be plus 2, uh, 2 dy. If in the other case, it will be 2 dy minus dx. Right. In the other case, it will be 2 dy minus dx. And if it is less than 0, it is minus minus. If it is uh, greater than 0, it is y plus plus. Okay. That's what, uh, uh, what will happen, then we will set the pixel. This will happen un until x reaches the x end point. Same thing goes for here as well. Just the formula will be different. Instead of 2 dy dx, it will be 2 dx dy. And some slight changes in this formula. If you go through it, you will be understanding it easily. Okay. So that's what, uh, what happens. Set pixel is just setting the pixels at x and y coordinates. And if I run this program and uh, show you how the output works. That I already done here itself. That's the same thing. If you want to change the coordinates, like uh, plotting the different coordinates, like coordinate uh, uh, q1 q2 q3 and q4 which are the, uh, this is q1 q2 q3 and q4 okay and these are the positive slope values like uh, this is x1 value this is the first point and the second point value if you put it like that the slope will be there okay this is positive slope values this is negative slope values okay so in any quadrant if you want like for example if you want in the fourth quadrant negative slope so go to fourth quadrant this is the negative slope put these points you will get a negative slope like this okay this is known as negative slope that's all what is there in the first program and uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next.